I go try to connect with Chad, watching the Cubs games. I love Cubs. Uh, he wanted, you know, wanted to have a beer. He liked beer at that point. Uh, you know, I was in a denomination where drinking was a complete no-no, so I couldn't have a beer. Felt weird. Came back home, and uh, I remember asking my wife. I was like, I was like, Julie, I'm like, I don't know what something was just weird. I felt really awkward hanging out with Chad, and uh, I tell the story in the book. And my wife said, uh, Well, that's because you're not a real person anymore. I was like, uh, so Say again. She's like, unless you're doing stuff as Pastor Darren, like you don't know how to be a real person anymore. Unless you're doing church with church people, talking about church, dreaming about church, like you don't, like, I don't know who you are anymore. You're like a cartoon character, this Pastor Darren guy, and I don't know who you are. And the reality was I didn't either. Is that my purpose is to awaken the world to the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And a lot of that is 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 based on reaching people that are currently not in relationship with Jesus, awaken them to the reality of Christ, and then helping them become who God's created them to be. One of the, the problems that, that I began to, to, to see is that I'd become so uh, enamored and so buried in like being the best pastor Darren I could be, that like I'd got to the point where I didn't have any influential relationships with anybody that didn't know Jesus in my life. And so as I'm trying to actually step into more of my specific purpose I, I couldn't even have conversations in my neighbor's garage because it felt so awkward and so julie challenged me on that and what i allowed happen is i allowed this new dream of, of becoming a great pastor and leading an amazing church that was going to do all these things i let it become who i was and when my dream became my identity it led me to betray my purpose and um you know, that can happen in a lot of different dreams you know for you it could be a dream to be a mom and you you're you're that and what happens is, is when our dreams become our identities they actually become idols this is dangerous where we almost begin worshiping like the 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 ideal of the dream right of our sense of identity in it in a way that it, it moves us to betray our purpose in christ it could be a mom, it could be a successful business person, it could be you know, teacher of the year, it could be being an athlete, it could be being a drummer, it could be being a great pastor. I don't know what it is for you, but you need to do some soul searching to figure out, do I understand my sense of identity outside of my dream?